Here is a quick mnemonic video on paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria or PNH, a type of hemolytic anemia. In this video, we will specifically focus on its mutation and treatment. Oh, and by the way, I'm a medical doctor who ranked in the top 4% of our class in medical school and I'm here to share my gems with you guys. So let's quickly get into the video. Don't you just love a peaceful starry night where you can sit with a ukulele and play to your heart's content? Let this pig leaning against a tree bark remind you of the underlying mechanism behind PNH, a hematopoietic stem cell mutation in the PEGA gene. Get it? Because bark reminds of stem cell mutation and pig of PEGA gene? And what better than having a friend play with you? Let the second pig in this scene anchor you to GPI, because GPI rearranged is pig. Who knew you could get carried away so easily? It's almost midnight. Let the clock face reading 12 remind you of CD55 and CD59 as 11.55 and 11.59 are mere minutes away from 12. PNH, characterized by mutations in the PEGA gene, leads to impaired GPI synthesis of CD55 and CD59, which makes RBCs more susceptible to complement-mediated damage. This damage then leads to subsequent hemolysis and hemoglobinuria. Consequently, labs reveal CD55 and CD59 negative, which is key to identifying PNH. Finally, let the ukulele in this scene anchor you to the treatment of PNH, a culizumab, because ukulezumab just sounds so much like ukulele. Alright, now you're fully equipped to tackle any question come your way on test day. Good luck! and see you soon.